Ginza Street Food Tour. 11 items you should try. Samurai Junjiro Channel Hi, I'm Samurai Junjiro, born and raised in Japan. In today's video, we'll show you around Ginza. We'll be covering street food from 11 stores, from the staples to newly opened spots. A well-established store with 70 years of business history will also appear in the video, so keep watching to find out more. Now, let's get started. Here we are in Yurakjo Station. Yurakjo is right next to Tokyo Station, and the train ride will only take a minute. You can also walk to get to one another too. It's in a different area to those of Shibuya and Shinjuku. Ginza is one of the places in Japan that has luxury vibes. Here you can find numerous worldly famous brands. In such a place, there's one-of-a-kind Starbucks coffee store, which can only be found here within Japan. In that Starbucks store, they serve all-you-can-eat course at dinner. The prices are shown, and it's one drink inclusive. All the food that they offer, it's so chic. More on that is shared in this video, so I'll leave you the link in the description. So, let's get down to exploring street food. In Ginza, you can find a number of stores that host local ingredients and light meal to satisfy empty stomach. We'll be covering three stores that represent different areas. Let's first begin with Hokkaido Dosanko Plaza, where you can grab Hokkaido goods. The store attracts as much as 2 million people per year. We'll be sharing two different kinds of food from this store. First one being fried snack. This is crab cream croquette. The croquette is prepared in the store, so you get to take a bite of steaming hot, freshly fried snack. Since the crab of the croquette is rough, you can really enjoy the crispy mouthfeel. It comes with cream with abundant crabs inside. The flavor of crab really explodes in your mouth. You taste that sweetness too. The taste sure does take me to Hokkaido. The next of the two being seafood bowl. This bowl comes with three toppings of crab, sea urchin, and salmon rolls. For this mountain of toppings, the price is a real deal. Let's take a bite from salmon rolls. Soy sauce flavor is kicking in, and it's perfect with rice. Each particles of raw stand out, and that popping texture is very addictive. Sea urchin tastes very rich. The flavor spreads in my mouth. Crab also had strong, natural sweetness. I'm loving this fluffy texture too. Hokkaido seafood bowl is so rich in content. From the next area, we picked up Hiroshima brand shop, Tau, and here you can purchase Hiroshima local goodies. The store first began in 2012, and the place is always busy with customers. From here, let's try curry bread that uses Hiroshima ingredients. The size of the bread is relatively small, so it's a deal for a bite while strolling. The price is cheap and I like that about it too. It comes with Hiroshima oyster in the filling. The flavor of oyster elevates curry really well. It's both creamy and sweet. And then it's Okinawan goods store, Washita Shop. Here they host 4,000 different Okinawa raised ingredients and food. From the selection, let's try out this snack. This is a fried roll tacos, minced meat wrapped with soft taco shells. 
The taco shell is crispy on the outside and chewy in the inside. It's packed with spicy minced meat. The fat has been fused into the shell. The spicy touch is addictive. The next store we'll be sharing is called Kunyane no Mise, placed in the eyes of Yurakcho Station. The store began in November 2021 and still yet young. And today we'll be trying this. It's called Kunyane, and this is a French like confection with custard cream filling in pie crust. The confection is on the boom and it sells 1800 a day. The cream is filled once the order has been placed, so you get to enjoy the crispy texture. The texture of the cream is light, since it's a mixture of custard and whipped cream. There's a hint of caramel to it, too. We'll be checking out a store near Higashi Ginza Station. In Higashi Ginza, there's a Kabukiza, a theater for performing Japanese traditional dance, which we call Kabuki. A store right behind the theater is Ginza Fukuyoshi. Ginza Fukuyoshi serves takoyaki octopus ball, and here you can experience the flavor of its home in Osaka. There's a variety of flavor to choose from, but we picked the original sauce. It's so fragrant from the pile of airy bonito flakes on top. Takoyaki from the store uses hearty broth in its batter, so you can also order a set without any sauce. Aromatic broth fills your mouth. It tastes rich from the sauce and mayonnaise. Inside is melty and creamy. It's quite a volume with huge octopus chunks. The subsequent store to share is Ginza Zembikiya. This is a fruit specializing store that began in 1894. The store is well acknowledged for hosting luxurious fruit that can be found anywhere else. And we'll be trying almond jelly here. It's served with plenty of mango chunks, so it's very content rich. The sweet scent is so tempting. The mango chunks give out strong sweetness too. It literally melts in your mouth. The jelly itself is mildly sweet and it matches perfectly with mango sauce. You can taste that natural sweetness from milk too. The store's dessert tend to be a little pricey but it definitely won't let you down. Hope you'll give it a try. We wanted to pick up a store at the end of this narrow passage. This is Torigin specializing yakitori, the skewered chicken, and this is its head store. The store is classic with history from 1951. It attracts as much as 450 people a day. You can dine in as well, but we decided to take the store's specialty of bento box to go. It will take 10 minutes or so before you can pick up because the bento is prepared after it's been ordered. The box has volume with plenty of yakitori, meatballs, and quail eggs. Since yakitori is prepared on charcoal, it's so fragrant. We'll be pouring soy sauce based sauce over the whole yakitori before you take a bite. The meatball has perilla leaves inside, so it's very refreshing. Outside is crispy and chewy inside. Quail eggs have savory and grilled aroma from charcoal. It's so aesthetic. Chicken thigh yakitori is moderately fatty. Everything is so tender because it's been grilled on charcoal. The sauce and rice are a perfect match together. Seaweed lava has a nice hint of aroma too. Let's check out Ginza Nenrinya next. Nenrinya is a store founded in 2007 and stands as one of the famous Bamkchen stores in Ginza. Their products are also chosen frequently as Tokyo souvenirs. Bamkchen from Nenrinya is different from others 
for its crispy cake wall. The ingredients are abundant butter and egg, so it's very aromatic too. Let us try this pumpkin. This one has matcha kneaded in its dough. The smell of matcha is so appealing. It's fluffy and moist. Slight bitterness from matcha goes so well. The outer sugar-coated wall of the cake is crispy and has a nice touch to it. We'll be looking around Ginza Kimuraya now. This is a long-run bakery that began in 1869. The store is definitely one of the most recognized stores in Ginza. What we are trying today are the classic bread with a sweet red bean filling known as ampan and curry bread, recent topic of interest. Let's start with ampan first. The origin of bread with sweet red bean filling began in this right store. For its yeast, the same type to that of Japanese sake liquor is used in its dough, so you can taste that slight sweetness. The red beans used for the filling are from Hokkaido. You can actually taste the natural sweetness from the beans and not purely of sugar. It tastes refined. And then comes the curry bread. The outside the bread is crispy from the fried bread crumbs. It's so well received that it sells out quickly. Spicy curry is inside the chewy bread. There's plenty of beef chunks whose original shape has been broken down and melted into the soup, and it tastes super rich. What a high-class curry bread! To follow, let's check out Ginza Kanra. The store serves Japanese confections from 2007 and still considered younger within Ginza. There are numerous delicacies, but we of course picked up the most chosen one. This is an apple pie with sweet simmered apple on top. Although it's made of pie crust, it's actually moist and fluffy. It comes with sweet red bean filling. Sweet simmered apple and the bean paste surprisingly go really well together. It's a dessert with combination of Japanese and Western essence. And lastly, we'll be talking about Ginza Sato. The store's specialty is meat and has stores in areas like Tsukiji and Kichijoji. They sell menus like ground meat cutlet and braised pork, but we had to get a limited one that you can only get in this store and that is ground meat cutlet hamburger sandwiching the cutlet with buns. They only sell 50 a day and it goes out super quick. On top of huge circle cutlet, ketchup based sauce is poured. With a slight acidity from the tomato, you can finish this without feeling heaviness from the meat. The cutlet is super juicy and the juice flooding as you bite. The sweetness of onion too. It's so filling and voluminous cutlet burger. If there's a restaurant you'd like me to introduce, let me know in the comments. Please like and subscribe to my channel too. Well, that's it for today. See you in the next video.